Fine print is one thing. So think about opening up a bank account, really understanding the contract you're assigning there. This not only concerns people with learning disabilities, but rather lots of us that just sign and don't understand. So at SemAI, we are on a mission to make the world understandable. And because of that, we have built the Google Translate for Easy Language. So a tool that translates any complicated text into easy language so that the text is understandable for people with learning disabilities, with educational disadvantages, or with poor language skills who are otherwise um, excluded from critical information. The best examples are um, to really explain very difficult terms. So if you think about artificial intelligence, that, that's like a super abstract and super hard concept. And you can try to break it down into teaching a computer to do things that people can also do on a daily basis. Um, like solving little tasks. It really looks like Google Translate. You have an input field, you have a button to translate, you have an output field where you can see the easy language text, and we've provided a bit of a toolbox to further refine the text. So we have a glossary that helps you to explain especially hard terms. So if you have artificial intelligence in your text, you might want to enrich this with an additional explanation. So there's a bit of a toolbox there. And we ask the users to review the text again to check whether everything is really reflected correctly, whether the facts are all um, true in the, in the output text and then to publish it. So it's really important that it's not fully AI based to prevent misinformation, but we have humans in the loop that really know the complicated text and can judge whether the, the simple text is a good representation of that. Essentially what you're doing is you're breaking down things into only main clauses. So you don't have any sub clauses. You can do a but or a because of, you just have main clauses um, in one line after each other. So it really gets longer but it is super structured in like the thought process. You're really building one sentence after another to make something clear, to make arguments clear. We are providing the tool to public sector institutions to make their information accessible. So um, we have opted for a way to market it and to monetize it via the institutions and companies that set up the barriers. So it's not um, something that people like my aunt would use, but she is one of the people who test it and who give us feedback, whether it's understandable because um, there is the language style with rules for easy language, but the most important thing is feedback from people who essentially need to understand the text in the, in the end. Um, so we are incorporating people like my aunt to give us feedback and to tell us um, whether it's working or not.